Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. A uh, quick training update for Selenium Java regular batch. We are starting a new batch from 30th March 2023, 8.15 a.m. on in US. It will be 7.45 p.m. PST. So you can check your timings accordingly. So registration is open now. We are starting from 30th March. That will be Thursday and Friday. We will have two demo sessions for two days. And then we will continue from Monday onwards. It's a very lengthy course. We have added uh, many new things uh, in the course content. You can check the complete course content here that um, if you are coming from uh, a non-IT background or manual testing background or you have not done any automation so far, I'm pretty much sure that this training will help you a lot to learn uh, Java and Selenium together with the proper understanding of real-time projects and everything. So we are going to spend a lot of time in Java around 25 to 30 sessions only and only for Java, then we will move to the Selenium part. So this training I'm pretty much done, which will help you a lot to improve your Java concepts and then everything will be covered from the scratch. So you don't need to worry about that. You don't have any plan on Java. And then once the Java thing is uh, done, then we will move to the Selenium web driver part. So I have divided the Selenium web driver part into uh, two major sections. The first section is a core part of Selenium, but all the features of Selenium, we are going to talk about the in-depth coverage, in-depth knowledge about Selenium, how exactly Selenium works, how exactly it's interacting with the browser, web events, locators. I'll make you genius. I'll make you perfect in XPath if you use this locator. And then each and every minute detail about Selenium 4, what are the new changes happened in Selenium 4 with respect to there are so many things added in uh, Selenium 4, Grid, and then Relative Locators, XPath, and all such things. We are going to talk about that thing. And then uh, there are some really complex scenarios in the part 2 that we are going to talk about, like switching, alert, pop-ups, tables, checkboxes, radio buttons. There are a lot of uh, different types of user actions out there. We are going to talk about those things as well. And some really complex scenarios like Edgex component, handle co complex calendars, web table with pagination, infinite page loading, uh, food delivery apps like, you know, on LinkedIn, Facebook that we do the infinite loading, complex shadow DOM SVG elements, frame frames. There are many examples uh, with respect to shadow DOM and uh, inside the shadow DOM, there is a frame. Inside the frame, there is another shadow DOM. What do you mean the pseudo elements, page weight use cases, element weight use cases? These are one of the most public use cases there in any automation tool. You should know how to handle that. If you are good in these, handling of these scenarios uh, with any automation tool, especially with Selenium, I'm pretty much sure your confidence and you will be different from others. So how to write the right code for uh, these complex scenarios and how to write the a generic code, how to create a utility and everything, we are going to talk about that. So in my training, everything what we do is very much related to what we do in real-time projects, like how to create a generic function, a library, a framework, a core automation framework, we develop that. And once your Selenium part is done, we are going to talk about TestNG framework. All the core features of TestNG, we are going to talk about that. And we are going to design one end-to-end -end automation uh, framework along with TestNG. We are going to use uh, this time Cucumber also. We have added the flavor of Cucumber as well with the BDD framework. And then we are going to talk about a real-time project or e-commerce application with a complete hybrid uh, framework with the page object model design pattern. We are going to use that. We are, we are going to talk about different various components of uh, uh, Selenium. You must have uh, seen uh, this particular diagram in my other PPTs or in my other uh, presentations also. So it's a complete design that we are going to talk, which uh, we are going to talk about a lot of uh, different components, how to write design uh, practices, and then how to define the single responsibility principle. What do you mean by page object model? What are the write practices to write the page layer at the test layer, how to write a test cases, what do you mean by different varieties of uh, formulas are there in order to write the test cases, like what do you mean by triple A formula, what do you mean by 30 rule formula, what do you mean by 80-20 formula in the page object model, we are going to talk about that. And once those things are done, then we are going to talk about a lot of, lot of infrastructure activities. For example, GitHub, Jenkins, NGROC, Proxy, Dockerize Grid, uh, we are going to learn about Docker. We are going to learn about a lot of Git commands. And then the AWS uh, Linux setup also, we are going to do that, which will help you to run the test cases and create your own infrastructure over there. So that's what, if you see that from line number, uh, from line number 17, 
we are going to talk about a lot of DevOps activities like uh, Jenkins setup, how to create a pipeline like classic view pipeline, blue ocean pipeline, what do you mean by declarative pipeline syntax, and then all the Git commands we are going to talk about. So I'll make you perfect in Git also along with uh, Jenkins. These are the two important, uh, I would say, skills are required in DevOps with respect to test automation. And then we are going to talk about a lot of good activities that we do practically uh, in real-time projects also. What do you mean by Maven lifecycle? How to create your own jar, fat jar? What do you mean by Nexus deployment with the help of different varieties of plugins are there in Maven? And then another a wonderful technology that we are going to learn about with, with uh, Docker, with the Kubernetes and everything. We are going to talk about what do you mean by Dockerized Selenium grid? And then what are the different custom grids are available in the market and then how to run your test cases over there, how to create your own browser lab on your own infrastructure so that I can run my test cases over there. So we are, these are the things that practically we have to learn. What do you mean by AeroCube, uh, Selenoid, Dockerized Grid, set up your own browser lab with a different browser version and all such things. And then finally, we are going to talk about one Amazon Web Services. Uh, we are going to take uh, one compute service with the EC2 instance, we are going to take a machine over there, and then we will set up the entire infrastructure on AWS, on the cloud, and then what are the different things that we have to take care of while making the infrastructure on the cloud, what do you mean by uh, AMI, security group, VPC, subnets, and all such things, how to create an EC2 user and all, we are going to set up those things, and then finally we will run our test cases on the cloud. So that's what, like, set up complete Dockerized grid on AWS cloud using Selenoid grid and Docker. So I'll teach you that how to create your own Docker image and how to deploy the Docker images on multiple environments. Let's say tomorrow you want to run your test cases on any machine on any environment against any QA environment dev or UAT or a stage environment, how to run the test cases and the test execution is happening on the specific cloud. So this is what we learn and we do in actually real-time projects. Selenium is not about only now web driver equal to new Chrome driver. You have to raise the bar high, you have to learn many new things with respect to what we do in the real time projects how to create your own automation framework your own libraries and everything so if you are interested with this boot camp then definitely most welcome you can enroll for it all the enrollment details fee details everything is written over here you just need to fill this particular form and then you are absolutely a good to go with that and then uh, just send me the payment screenshot via email all the instructions are written over here and uh, just go through this entire course content this post content is one of the best post content I'll tell you in the market according to the current market standards. And uh, this will help you a lot to not only switching the jobs and not only cracking the interviews, but also it will help you a lot in the real time projects in Montage. So that's all for this. I hope uh, uh, this training and this bootcamp will help you a lot. So please share who are looking for uh, uh, such kind of training. There are many, many success stories from the previous batches. And a lot of people, they got the job. A lot of people, they are doing great after this uh, bootcamp training. So let me know in case of any issues in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you. Thanks.